Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Hopefully it's a welcome back to Papa Junk Shop. Well, I needed a combiner box for those uh, 12 volt panels that I started out with a number of years ago. I didn't want them sitting idle so I found a location for them and they're going to be for here in the garage on the 24 volt system. So there's eight of them. I'm going to put them in uh, 2S4P by use of this combiner box. Now, I like my other combiner box, but the one that did four strings was like 129 bucks or something. They had these on sale. And it was about half of that. Um, it seems okay. I looked at some other reviews and some people don't like the idea that they tin the, the wires. Um, I don't have a problem with that. I uh, took one of them out and whatever solder they're using to tin them with seems to be really hard. And you can crank these screws right down pretty darn tight. And I checked them all. And they all, well, not all of them, but there's a few of them that took a little snugging. This one is the difference between this one and the four string one was you only fuse the positive side on this one. The other one fused both plus and minus, which I really liked. But And I was going to build my own box, but by the time I bought the box and all the stuff, it wound up costing more than one I already built. So I decided to give one of these a whirl. Um, it comes with these tabs that are on the back to mount it with. You can mount it this way or this way, but it didn't work out for me because uh, the post I'm going to mount it on was too narrow. So. I had some stainless steel so I made a couple of brackets. So take this out and, and get her mounted. It has 12 amp fuses in it. And this is a 63 amp breaker. So plenty heavy enough for what I'm going to do. These are the panels I'm talking about. Um, not the ideal place. They are facing more or less south. But, you know, I'm not going to get real good sun exposure, but anything helps. Um, these trees are going to be going away here soon. They're oak trees, and them leaves stay on there all winter long. They come off in the spring, and as all they do is make a mess. So, might turn them into some boards. Now, because where this is at, it's going to be pretty hard to video. I'm probably going to be in the way. Um, but the plan is, I made this uh, pressure-treated 2x4. I got a couple of recessed holes here. I'm going to use these. I'm going to go in about there. And that's going to go right in that area. And then this box is going to mount something like that. And what I have is going underground is two number sixes. into the garage so we'll get this baby mounted up something beeping and it was the camera saying the battery was dying so I got this mounted it's nice and sturdy so we'll pick a spot here for, for this to go uh, 
want to be able to open the door to access everything, so yeah, oh, right there should be all right. Square job. The solar panel should give it a little more weather protection, I think. And most of our wind comes from that direction, so should be adequate for protection, I guess. holes in behind these MC connectors so that's good and sturdy though. Okay so we should be able to work with that. The connections are going to be over this way anyways. So we get started on getting some wires hooked up. Okay I just decided okay I got this first wire up in there and trying to pull a slack up in there to get a, a length on it and I don't like where this breaker is if it was over here it had a straight shot up in and you know if you're using some thinner wire which I'm not might be all right but you know the heavier the wire the better um, Especially when you're going a distance. So I'm going to trade places with this and this. And that means I'll have to replace these wires here with some longer ones. Which I wouldn't mind if they were a little heavier too. They are heavier than these. But wouldn't hurt if it was a little better. So I'm going to take the box back out. Take it, take it down in the shop and, and make that change. And then I'll be back. Move the main breaker over here, put the surge protector there. Replace these wires with some heavier wires, and they're not tin now. Uh, I think that's number six too, same as what I got going out of here. So, should be all set to go. I got the length of the wires figured out, I think. I usually like to leave a little extra in there, but you know, this stuff's so hard to work with in such a small space that. We're going to go with it that way this time. So, and of course, these are labeled. They're not going to be the same <laughs> uh, because I'm moving them. So, it's unusual that I'm remembering to put these on.
There's the ringer duct in there, good. <laughs> Guess what? I didn't bring a screwdriver. Yeah, we'll just use this just to get them so they won't come out of there. Okay, so. They're in. They're, I'm going to get a screwdriver and do it by hand because I want to feel how tight I got them. I'll get, a, get this mounted down here, clamp down on the little... A little neater. There is just a whisker extra there, so that wire's going to fit nicely in the rubber seals. I do believe. All right, go get a screwdriver, and the only other thing we got to do is run a ground wire. And we should be all set to start hooking up solar. Got the ground rod run, and I got the first two panels in, in series uh, hooked in. So let's try her out. Let's try this new meter that uh, I just, I guess you'd say, reviewed the other day. Um, put it on the 200 volt range. Just to confirm that we got everything polarity wise right. Come in here. Yep. Yeah. Got 38.2 volts there. 38.2 there. Top of the circuit breaker. 38.2. Okay, the other end's hooked into an EP Ever MPPT controller. Flip the switch on. And 24 volt system, so it's going to search for a bit. We're at what 30, 30.5. Okay, let's go down in the garage and take a look, see what we're making. Okay, there we go. So we're at what? 31 volts at this end, 5.3 amps. And 137 watts. And looks like there's another cloud approaching. Okay, so we should have four times that amount when uh, we get them all hooked up. Got them all hooked up. The only thing left to do is a little bit of wire management on the back side there. And, you know, it's getting late afternoon. You can see why this tree, besides the fact that the leaves are a real pain, needs to go. Of course, these panels aren't going to do a whole lot in the summer anyways because, you know, the angle is not good. But in the wintertime, when I really need it more anyways, they should be uh, working pretty good. So, looks like Mr. Boots is... Yeah, go ahead and do that on that tree instead of on the couch. Didn't last very long, that scratch, did it? But if it was on the couch, you can just bet he'd be working at it a little more. <laughs> oh well. 
Okay, so I'm going to call this a video. Um, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Thanks for watching. And uh, the next adventure is probably going to be more of the windmill. <laughs>